On the island, a 10-year-old girl lost her life after swimming with no lifeguards on duty. CBS News' Weech Chang is live on Coney Island with more. Weech Amarius, that little girl's family prepares her funeral. The Brooklyn Borough President and City Council members will meet near the scene of where she drowned, calling for the city to do more to educate people about water safety, and they'll also pass out flyers with tips, hoping to prevent another drowning. Emergency responders patrolling the Coney Island Beach after a summer swim turned tragic. Police say 10-year-old Takara McDuffie drowned around 7 p.m. Tuesday. The Staten Island girl and her 9-year-old sister were in the water near Stillwell Avenue. Witnesses say strong waves pulled them far from the shore. I hear a little girl saying, help, help. So. Corey Murray says he and another man rushed to save the children. He grabbed the girl, looked like he was having some problems helping her back to the shore. So I told him to put her on my back and I bring her halfway to pretty much bring her to safety. But precious minutes passed before they spotted Takara. We couldn't find her for like a good five minutes. And then she showed up ashore pretty much like seven minutes after. And then they came with the CPR on her. To, um, there was no lifeguards there. No one was on duty at the time. The Parks Department says lifeguards work from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, and swimming is prohibited when they're off. Still, people brave the water. This group on Coney Island, even after the tragedy, which marks the sixth drowning in the city this year. Among the victims, a two-year-old toddler in Prospect Park Lake and two 13-year-old cousins in the Bronx River. And even though the victim's little sister struggled in the water, she was not hurt thanks to those good Samaritans. Live in Coney Island, Weija Jang, CBS 2 News.